Look, stick a fork in these niggas, they done bacon. I wrap circles around niggas until they done waking. Go figure, check the Richter, the rhythms is groundbreaking. Oh, maybe that's the zombies from all the rappers I killed that's now awakened. Pretty motherfucker, I'm radiant slash fragrant. Feel like Valentino Colonna, only thing I can spray with. What's going on, y'all? It's Ken Wall, the African Thunder here, and we are coming to you live from the milk drop. And look, we're all the way out in California, y'all. Los Angeles. Look, the city, I don't know what they call Los Angeles. The city of Angels. City of Angels, yeah. that's what it is? Yeah. I thought it was something cool. But look, we're in <laughs> Los Angeles, y'all. And look, we're here with an artist who is not originally from here, but he has made some amazing music some amazing uh, footprints here, and we're definitely excited to see what he has to offer in these upcoming weeks. So we are here with the undercover, the return of the GOAT himself, Wayne Grady. What's going on, bro? What's good, bro? How you doing, bro? You doing well. How about you, bro? Straight, man. Can't good, yeah. good, good, good. Yeah. Well, look, man, you know, we're, uh, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. And of course, to be here. we're excited to you know hear more about you. But for the people who don't know who you are, who is Wayne Grady, and why the name? Wayne Grady, man, I'm a player. <laughs> uh, the name, the, it, the name was an interesting story. So I, my homeboy, uh, my cousin John had a homeboy who was like from bumfuck Mississippi somewhere, mm -hmm. and I introduced myself to him back in like 2012. I was like, "What's up, bro, Wayne?" He was like, "Wayne Grady." And I just went with it, it stuck, it sounded good, so that's hey, why my name is. Yeah. I fuck with it. Maybe with no deep meanings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool nicknames. Look, but I mess with it. And now, now along with the music, I mean, how did you get into doing music? What brought you to that? I mean, music is fun, bro. I just love music. Um, I've been doing music since what, like 2014? Yeah, like 2014. Uh, mm -hmm. Just been playing with it ever since. Uh, some of my homies always told me I had like a kind of like a knack for it, like just rapping. So decided to try it. You know what I'm saying? Give it a real try. So. Man, and now now looking at I guess just from being hey you just want to try it, and then fast forward 2014 to 2020. I mean, what is your take on music now? Uh, I still do it just because I love it. Really, uh, I don't really promote music that much or try to sell people anything, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? If it's for you, it's for you. It's, if it's not, it's not, you know what I'm saying? But it's fire though, so. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And those of you who don't know, uh, Wayne actually dropped his uh, a previous project as well. Um, abstract? Abstract, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the abstract is fire. Not the abstract. Oh, excuse me, just abstract. abstract. Yeah. Abstract is fire, you know? Um, and then See, a hey, humble, look, that's what we like to see, you know? Um, you know, we have a lot of artists, and what's, what's crazy is that we have a lot of artists who, you know, talk about how great their music is, how um, great their projects are, yeah. and, you know, here we are with you, you're like, you know, hey, this is the music, yeah. here it is, if you want to tune in, you can, if right. not, you know, whatever. For sure, you I know? mean, Abstract was like 2017, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, so that was a, a while back, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, I took a little while to grow and get better at actually at it, you know what I'm saying? And, in terms of just like promoting it and saying like I'm the best ever, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's a lot of gimmicks out there, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But I feel like, you know what I'm saying, we put time into it to get better and yeah. cause we really just enjoy doing it as opposed to just trying to like sell people stuff all the time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I think it's tight. I mess with it. And now now we have another another upcoming project coming up. You yeah. know? Yeah. Now I mean I don't know if you want to tell them, I mean, do you know when the next project going to be dropping? When should they be looking to hearing your voice I mean, again? Yeah, bro. Uh, I'm going to probably try to drop at the end of July. What is it, June 16th? Mm -hmm. I'm going to probably try to drop at the end of July. Uh, but right now, it's like, it's a crazy climate. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of stuff, more important stuff going on in the world right now. So, you know, so I think that's more prevalent. I'm not really trying to sell myself when people are getting killed for no yeah. reason, you know what I'm saying, so. Absolutely, absolutely, and I mean, you know, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Systematic uh, oppression is real, That's so facts. we wanna definitely make sure that we're giving our time and attention to that as well. So That's I mean, facts. much respect to that. Absolutely. And now, I mean, we were listening to, you know, the exclusive, you know what I'm saying, the, shout out. The, the exclusive <laughs> Appreciate y'all, yeah, you man. know, um, and it kinda, it goes back to your, your last point of that you took time to, focus on the music, it took time to grow within the music, 
and even listening to those tracks, yeah. there's so much time that was put into the music. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what is your inspiration behind, you know, not only the lyrics, but also the development of the beats and the sound and all the other things that are behind it? Bro, that's a, that's a complex question. Uh, my inspiration kind of comes from like childhood. My dad just used to play a lot of music. You know what I'm saying? The people that I made friends with in college, like do music and everything. So my music come from my peers and people that's around me. You know what I'm saying? My, my inspiration come from them. Uh, the sound of the projects just come uh, from what we're able to create at the time. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I would say I'm inspired by just the current climate of music, you know what I'm saying? So Okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, I'm missing it because I ain't gonna lie to you. We were sitting over here and for those y'all who don't know, I mean I know you've been seeing the little takes of us bobbing our heads. This was us bobbing our heads to his latest album. Well his newest album that's about to drop and it's fire. When I tell you like there's so much dynamic um dynamic uh aspects and levels to the to to it now i mean it's it's one of those things that it makes you feel good yeah and i definitely see that ride along music you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. uh but also like hell i was dancing one of the songs i was in there i'm feeling it you know um and it's just kind of one of those things that that's the type of music that we want to hear that's right, the type right. of music we want to promote yeah so i mean i know you said you had you know you have a team mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that works with you yeah. so i mean tell us a little bit more about you know that team and how um that uh impacts your music man really it's a small team man you know what i'm saying uh it's just i got producers right in-house producers they twins uh brandon and scotty they sitting over there but they don't want to be on the camera y'all want to make cameo come on make cameo, yeah, bro. Yeah, we are here. They, they're real twins real twins they're real twins gang gang. <laughs> <laughs> gang gang you know what i'm saying but uh nah they they man produce the music a lot of the music man um executive produce all the albums or the projects that i work on uh take the pictures shoot the videos like hella talented dudes man you know what i'm saying like i always mention like i got a team because i couldn't do it by myself you know what i'm saying like i wouldn't not not saying that i've accomplished you know what i'm saying so much because i'm still just scratching the surface but yeah. you know what i'm saying the stuff that i am able to produce you know what i'm saying it's not just wayne grady it's wayne grady bistro and scotty pippen you know what i'm saying yeah. Every, everything that you hear from me is us three for sure nice nice and now i mean along with your team and you know of course that you work with that team now i know we were listening hold to on you. we at their house right now oh we're at their house <laughs> <laughs> so i mean i i mean i love to see it it's yeah. definitely a team that Obviously, you feel comfortable, and yeah, bro. might we say they're very hospitable. I mean, this is the first interview that someone has gotten me something to drink. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it's big like, shout out to them. Hey, this is a real treat. Say what? We still yeah, on the side. Hey, hey, see, so, oh, y'all from Nashville, bro. Okay, for sure. They from Nashville. Okay, yeah, look, yeah, look, yeah. we got Tennessee in this thing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm messing with this Southern hospitality all the way in California. I'm messing with it. So, look, I mean, now, we talked about the team, and I know we talked about the project that you had coming. Yeah. And along with this project, I mean, I noticed there weren't any features or anything like that. And yeah. you know, this is really, this is you. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I mean. J. Cole you, and then went platinum with no okay. features, man. I'm just playing. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you right, though. Nah. Um, so, what happened was, mm -hmm. one of the tracks, I'm going to bust the name out. One of the tracks, you know what I'm saying, the interlude, I told you the interlude. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We reached out to a bunch of people, bro, for the feature, bro. And like a couple people said they would do it. Nobody really got back. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, that. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Like, I, was, I wasn't tripping, but yeah. for for a long time, we kind of shelved the project waiting for people to get back, you know what I'm saying, for the, for the uh, feature. But it never happened. So we was like, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to chop it down, make it an interlude. And then it's got that kind of effect to it to where like you don't really want it to end when it ends. Mm -hmm. So it, like it slaps that much harder, you know what yeah. I'm saying? For sure. For sure. And now, I mean, is there anyone that you're looking to, you know, possibly even, like, work with? Or is there anyone to, like, kind of be on the lookout for? Look, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to drop nobody's name. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, down to, I'm down to work, collab on some on some creative stuff. For sure. That's for all sure. I say. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Look, hey, professional answer. We love to see it. And look, so now, I mean, and I also wanted to ask you, so those people who are you know tuning in and may not have heard your music before if you had to give them you know a reason why they should tune in or or maybe even what you want them to take away from music what would you what would you say to them uh 
Um, I don't know, man. It's a, look, it's a lot of competition out there. It's a lot of people that's on. People already got their favorite artists. You know what I'm saying? So I can't tell you a reason to listen to Wayne Grady. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I can show you. So just pay attention. Be on the lookout. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I mess with it. Hey, like I said, hey. I, I'm, I'm down with the chill, the humbleness that yep. you have, you know what I'm saying? If anything, it makes me so much more want to listen to more that you have come. Yeah. And now, I, I mean, you already knew this question was coming. What question so, is I mean, you want to drop some bars Ooh. for the people Ooh. or, you know, oh, like... Let's see. <laughs> Look, I'm about an hour out of San Diego, house hunting, you can't stunt in a Winnebago. Shit, I might blow it all depending on how the day go. Shit, I'm sipping exquisite pending legislation from NATO. Passport poppy all in Trinidad and Tobago. Politic and star moves like I was playing chess with Play-Doh. Two alive for a halo and two fly to lie, girl. I've really been to Italy. I ain't eating Alfredo. Slice. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey. Slice. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Yeah. I messed with that. This is just a few yeah. bars. I messed with that. So cut out the part where, and then. Yeah. 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 You know, they definitely, it's not just, you're not just saying things to kind of throw them out there. Right. You know, it's definitely like, these are lyrics that, one, of course, intertwine with each other. <laughs> uh, of course they rhyme, but there's so much more within or in behind the yeah, lyrics. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's what I'm missing with, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, honestly, like, Italy Alfredo, you know what I'm saying? I mean, true, I mean, I, I don't ever really think about it, no, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I really been to Italy. Mm -hmm. I never had a plate of Alfredo in Italy. Mm -hmm. But like girls in college or whatever, like they always tried to make you what? Chicken Alfredo. You yeah. know, so like they could cook. But like, yeah. damn, I did the Italy. I, mean, yeah. I never had, they never served me that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that's all I'm saying. It's just other stuff. It's, it's a different way. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is like, it's honesty behind it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's some complexity behind it. Yeah. Uh, and it's like, if you listen to something, you get all of it the first time, there's no reason to listen to it again. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's always some. Uh, some double entendres and some some things in there that you can get later on from a re-listen. So, yeah. Okay, I miss with that. I mean, and now looking at this, I mean, who's your inspiration as far as like I know you said you said something about J Cole. I don't know if J Cole is your inspiration, but I said something I mean, about J Cole when. Did you say something about J Cole? Wait, we were talking about J Cole because he dropped a diss record to No Name or something like that, right? You don't even know. See, Shit. I mean, it might, it might be the liquor. You don't even know. It's the liquor. I'm blaming the liquor. You don't even know. <laughs> I mean, do you have like, I mean, uh, uh, inspiration or do I have this inspiration? Yeah. Though? Um, yeah, fam. Uh, look, listen. So, when I'm recording, mm -hmm. I don't really listen to other people because I don't want to be influenced by them. Okay. When I'm not recording, you know what I'm saying? I listen to the same people everybody else listens to. And I would say, like, as a rapper who values, like, complexity, you know what I'm saying? And, and just deeper. I ain't even gonna say deep because my music just ride, you know what I'm saying? But just like as a rapper who values the skill of rapping, you know what I'm saying? Like Hove is obviously up there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Respect for man, Sean in the early days, you know what I'm saying? Um, Kendrick obviously. It's like everybody that, you know what I'm saying, the, the top of the game right now, like they all fire. Like I don't, I don't have a bad thing to say about any rapper, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Okay, so I mess with it. Hey, I, I like it. I can, yeah. I can get behind that. So, I mean, even with that, I'm not going to ask you about who you think sucks in the game. So, I mean, Ooh. now, if you want to, you, you can. Want, I don't want to drop who sucks. You want to drop? <laughs> California Rapper Edition. <laughs> California Rapper Edition. California, California Rapper Edition. Bro, I don't. <laughs> Look, <laughs> listen. If, if they suck, bro, I don't know their name. So, people that I'm rocking with, though, in California, this is the California Edition, you know what I'm saying? I really, I really rock with Boogie. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That nigga's tight. Um, who else in California? Who we be listening to? Larry June. Mm -hmm. That nigga's player. You know what I'm saying? You out in Oakland, right? Yep. 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 So, yeah, he, he's tight. You know what I'm saying? So, just that. That's it. I ain't gonna say nobody else's name. Okay. You know for sure. For sure. Yeah, I mess with it. I mess with it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I mess with it. I mean, so, I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll ask one more question. Just kind of, you know. Um, and the music. I mean, 
what I mean are we gonna be looking at any visuals or anything like that coming as well with the project uh, what, what, what else do we have to look for yeah to? man like I said man my uh my producers also are my photographers they also are my videographers you know what I'm saying so we definitely gonna come with visuals the project is gonna be put together well before we before we drop it. We're not gonna be like everybody else and just drop prematurely and don't have nothing but like on Instagram to not listen to my music. Like, fam, if I gotta ask you to listen to it, I did it wrong, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So we're gonna come right, we're gonna come correct. Uh, we're gonna come with visuals, we're gonna come with, you know what I'm saying? Everything is gonna be cohesive, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, we'll, we'll come with a couple things, a couple freestyles, mm -hmm. since you love asking people for bars. <laughs> Matter of fact, how about you, where your bars at? Where my bars at? Where your bars at? Bars at? Um, uh, 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 hey, hey, let's go. I, I could hit it with hey. the back. Hey, uh, hey. what's hey. it? Um, uh, King, what's it? King Y, A, T, a young nigga collecting fame, MVP, star player in this thing. I wrote the coach and the gang, got all my hoes back, and she still ain't the same. Oh. Yo, back, nigga. I lost my bitch and got a new one. I'm a Mac. Oh. That's all I got. That's all I got. Put that on the track, nigga. <laughs> Okay, fool. Okay. That's all I got, yeah, man. Yeah. But okay. obviously, I be dropping bitch every other word. So, you know what I'm saying? Man. Wayne it's actually it's dropped good. some real music. So, make sure y'all check his stuff out. That's, but, all do, man. That's hard, bro. You better than a lot of niggas. <laughs> Coming on the show with the Mill Drop, man. I mean, is there anything that you want to leave the people with before you go? Man, just pay attention, man. Wayne Grady on Instagram. I don't really rock with social media like that, to be honest with you, but my uh, my team makes me, so mm -hmm. I'm on Instagram. They can't force me to get on Twitter or Facebook or TikTok or nothing like that, so. Oh, yeah, we got it. We're going we gonna to produce a YouTube series, too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what it's gonna be about yet though, cause we got like a couple ideas flowing, but that's gonna come too. These okay. these niggas are creative, bro. They, for sure, they do for it sure. all. For sure, yeah. for sure. We'll definitely have to come back up here for sure. for sure. I mean, we'll be definitely making more trips up here, and of yeah. course, we'll have to check out y'all. Hopefully, you know, when y'all do start the YouTube uh, series, yeah. we can go ahead and get y'all a part of ours as well. So well, let's go ahead and do it. Collaborate, yeah. Bet. Well, let's do it, y'all. Keep it locked right here. We got more coming up, and make sure you stay tuned with Wayne Grady, the twins. More right here on the milk.